Hey friends, welcome back. I hope you're all keeping well. So in today's video, I have a very special project I want to show you, which is this one you see over here, which is a hidden church in a beautiful pink and purple forest. And this is one of those images you find that are really nice when you see them and you know you just have to give it a try. And for this project, I'm actually combining my watercolor tubes with my pans and began by coloring the base in a very random manner. This is actually different from how I normally start my projects, as you've seen in previous videos, where the color areas are highly defined. So when the paint was dried, I started using a pencil to draw a rapid sketch of the church and then use my fine liners to draw the final line weights of the structure. For the main lines, I used a 0.3 fine liner and for the bricks in very small details, a 0.1.
Now, when all the lines were well defined, I started using my brushes to paint the walls in gray tones, combining very dark grays and black in some areas like the roofs, windows, footsteps, and the door. Then I used a deep red for the main roof tiles and began adding some darker tones to the red just to give some patina to the surface. And once dried, I had to draw the lines of the church once more because the grey and black tones hit the original lines, so the details like the bricks and frames disappeared completely. Now when it came to other brushes and leaves, I found a shaving brush I had stored in my closet and thought it might come in handy since it's very wide and I could work freely with it on the paper. And this is actually one of the things that make this project special, that when using this brush I actually thought on putting this project in a new playlist focused exclusively on experimentation and trying new things, tools and methods for sketching, but in the end it fitted more with the architectural urban sketching methods I've been using so far. However, I'll definitely be trying experimental projects in the near future just for fun and to share with you the processes and results, so if you like something, you might want to give it a try yourself as well. And after giving the painting some red stains with my long brush, I decided to leave it there and finish it, and I have to say I really like the mysterious feel this project has overall. But I have to admit that deep down I was expecting the tones to look a bit darker. However, in the end I really enjoyed the process of this painting, and I feel very happy that it served me as an inspiration to create new projects and experiments and eventually share them with you in the future. So I hope you have enjoyed the video. 
If you have, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more upcoming sketching projects. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section and if you want to give it a try yourself, do let me know how it goes. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.